Throughout the entirety of Meta Runner, we always knew there was some sort of connection between both Tari and Lucinia, which led to tons of speculation about who Tari really is. However, in the Season 2 finale, we finally got the answer we were looking for. After the failed Project Blue experiment, both Lucinia and Dr. Sheridan were severely injured. This caused pieces of Lucinia's consciousness to merge with the AI that Dr. Sheridan was using, thus creating Tari. So yeah, Tari is basically a computer program made to look like someone's dream waifu. Since Tari contains Lucinia's consciousness, she's needed in order for Lucinia to wake up. But what does that mean for Tari? Well, this scene from the season 2 finale gives us a good idea. But I do know Lux is right. Lucinia can be revived. I just have to give back what makes me... me. Yeah, it looks like there's a very important decision that needs to be made. Does MD5 keep Tari alive and embrace who she is? Or will they give up Tari in order to wake Lucinia up? This is something that has been crossing my mind ever since that episode. Sophia has said she doesn't matter who Tari really is, but keep in mind that Lucinia is still her sister, and I doubt that Sophia would just simply accept that she's gone and give up on seeing her again. Reviving Lucinia will definitely play a major role from here on out. But come on, Tari is literally the main character. Would they really kill off someone that important to the story? Yes, actually. I think depending on how the rest of the series plays out, I wouldn't say it's unlikely for the ultimate sacrifice to be made. There is also the possibility that MD5 can find a way to revive Lucinia without having to give up Tari. However, that seems like it would be pretty difficult to do considering that Tari contains the only thing keeping Lucinia from waking up, which is something that I assume Tari needs as well. Now, if they do decide to go the route of sacrificing Tari, it will 100% be at the very end of the series, most likely in the final episode. Now, unfortunately, there's no way of telling when the series will end, but I just can't imagine Season 3 being the last one. There's still so much for us to learn. Like, how did Tari end up in that body? Is Lux really the true creator of the Meta Runner arm as he said in the very first episode? The list goes on. It's also going to be very interesting to see what happens to Lucinia's body now that Lux isn't around. If Task Corp somehow survives in Season 3, which I do think they will, I think even though Lux's reputation is ruined, I think Task Corp will still go on under new leadership. But will this new leadership still care for Lucidia in the same way that Lux did? Believe it or not, you know, Lux is a shitty person, but he was the one keeping Lucinia alive. Also, how will MD5 even get close to the body? Because I'm assuming they're going to have to at some point if they want any chance of reviving Lucinia. And honestly, who knows, maybe in the last episode that's where, that's where everything ends. Maybe they finally get to Lucinia's body and Tari does decide to give herself up. There's so many questions. One thing is certain though, no matter what happens, I think it's best to keep a box of tissues handy. You're gonna need them. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This was a much shorter theory video than I'm used to making. However, I hope you guys still uh, took it for what it was. This was a fun topic uh, to talk about. Uh, something I've personally been interested in, uh, but what do you guys think? Do you think there's some chance that Tari will have to sacrifice herself in order to revive Lucinia? Uh, you know, just by what Tari said in the season 2 finale, I think it's kind of obvious that something's gonna happen. Uh, so yeah, it's something I think we're all gonna have to prepare for, but yeah, I, I, let, let me know what you thought. But anyway, be sure to drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it, and if you want to see more Meta Runner theory videos like this one, as well as be sure to subscribe if you want to stay up to date with all my content. 
But with that being said, I want to thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, guys, I've been Zelda Inferno, and I'll see you later. Bye.